And so our mom's entire family have been Byzantine Catholics as far back as we can remember. My cousin's a priest. Um, and yeah, so that was kind of the environment we were raised in. Similar, obviously, we are in communion with the Bishop of Rome, the Pope. We manifest the Catholic faith in a rather different way that might be kind of shocking to somebody who's only grown up in the Latin Rite. So our liturgy is almost entirely chanted. A, a thing that might really surprise an outsider is how long our services are. If we're doing the full system for Matins, it'll go about three hours. So it, it can be a little bit of a shock, but it's definitely something worth experiencing. <laughs> Growing up, I was always the kid who was going to be the priest. And like that was kind of like my thing. I was like, you know, I'm going to be a priest. That's my choice. That's how this works, right? And it, it was kind of at a point where I was terrified of the question, like, how's your discernment going? Because at some point, I realized, like, there, there isn't really discernment going on here. It's just me. I've decided I'm going to be a priest. I've always kind of been more of an academic person, so I guess there was kind of a point where A, the faith became much more of an object for study for me than it had been, and then kind of in that there were a few moments that kind of moved it from the head more into the heart. So that kind of became more of a, an authentic discernment in college. Um, we had a discernment program for uh, young men interested in the priesthood. You know, you get thrown into a group of 30 other guys and told, you're brothers, you're discerning the priesthood, make that work somehow. <laughs> like, you know, you have the guys who went through public school, home school, Catholic school. Uh, it's just kind of, you really get a sense of the universality of the church as well as the universality of like the priestly vocation. Uh, through that, I kind of was exposed to other guys who were trying to live this life of prayer and discernment and such. So I studied abroad in Austria during my during spring of my junior year. The class schedule and the schedule of prayers kind of, they were arranged to fit together. So like everything on campus just kind of shut down when it was time for midday, for midday mass. That kind of helped me form like habits of prayer that were conducive to discernment. It ended with me calling the vocations director for my home diocese and being like, hey, Father, I think I'm being called to be a priest for the Byzantine Catholic Arch Eparchy Archdiocese of Pittsburgh. Um, you know, how, how would that work? And so, you know, we talked about it and he was willing to let me apply, but the problem was this was the last two weeks of April. The application deadline was May for, for this current year. And so we kind of looked at it and we were like, it's not gonna work. And I had already been offered the opportunity to teach as an adjunct in Franciscan's uh, theology department. So I figured, you know, this would be a good year to do that, get some experience living out in the world. So I'm discerning uh, for the Byzantine Catholic Archeparchy Archdiocese of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Uh, because student loan debt is such a serious obstacle to a lot of people who are discerning calls to the priesthood of religious life, that's where Elaborate comes in, where we gather together as a class and fundraise in order to mitigate not only our own loans, but also the loans of those who are going, uh, who are going to enter the program after us. Everybody is just able to enter their uh, religious life, to enter seminary formation uh, as quickly as possible without the burden of student loan debt holding them back. And so far, it's been incredible. Right now, I'm excited and I'm really kind of in a, yeah, we can do this mode. So the morale's really high and the fellowship is really great.